Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be learning the guitar solo from Let It Be, the Naked Remastered version. Let's get into the video. I'm going to slide the tone knob all the way down to one, and I'm going to get that kind of Let It Be sort of sound. So we're going to start on the E string, and we're going to go three, hammer on to five. Then we're going to go same thing on the A string, but we're going to finish on the three. So we go three, hammer five, on back to the three. So three five three five three. Then we're going to slide from five up to seven on the A string. We're going to go on the D string, the fifth fret. Then we go on the A string, seven again. So we slide from five to seven. D on the five. Back to seven on the A. Then we do a hammer on pull off from five to seven on the D. Then we're gonna go back to the seven on the A and we're gonna slide down to five. Finishing on the three. So all that together slowly. Three, five, three, five, three. Slide to seven. Five. Back to seven, hammer on, pull off. Seven slide. Th third fret on the A string to finish us off. Then we're going to go back to the fifth fret and slide up to the seventh. On the D string, we're going to go five, hammer seven. And then on the fret, on the string below us, on the 7th on the G, we're going to slide up to the ninth, And then back to the 5 on the uh, G still. Twice, and we finish off on the 7th fret on the D. So we slide. Uh, the second phrase is going to sound like this, so we're going to go back from the... Uh, seventh on the D. And that's going to finish the second phrase. So that is going to be um, from the G on the seventh fret, we're going to slide up to nine. Just like that. So we've gone to the D on the seven. We're going to move down to the 7 on the G, and we're going to slide up to 9. Then on the B string, we're going to play 8. 10, pull off to the 8th, still on the B string. Okay, so we've got that, so we slide up. Then G on the 9. Okay. Then on the high E string, we're going to play 8th, the 8th fret. Then we're going to go 10, pull off to the 8th fret on the B. Okay, so it's that last little bit all together. So we're going to go G on the 9, slide down to 7. Go five five on the G. Okay, so from here. Okay. The next phrase sounds like this. So it's actually pretty simple. We're going to go three, hammer on five uh, on the E string, just like in the very beginning. And then we're going to go A on the third string so, uh, fret. So we go three, five, then A on the three. Then we're going to go five, slide up to seven, back to three, all on the A. So we go three, five, three, five, seven, Back to the three. And then we're going to go three hammer on five 
on the A string like in the beginning. And then back to the third fret on the A. So same beginning. Only difference is we're going to go on the D string, slide up from 5 to 7. Okay. Then we're going to go back to the A string on the 3rd fret. So we go... Then we're going to go 3, hammer on 5 on the low E again. And then the 3rd fret on the A. The 4th and 2nd last phrase is going to sound like this. Okay, so that is going to be same beginning, so 3, hammer on 5, 3rd fret on the A, then we're going to go same thing as we did just before, D, we're going to slide up to 5, from 5 to 7, right, so, like that, then we're going to go 5, hammer on 7 on the G string, and then 7, slide up to 9 on the G. that and then we're going to go 8 on the high E and then we're going to go 10 pull off 8 on the B okay. so we've got this then we go 12 10 8 on the high E Okay. And then we go uh, on the B string, 10, pull off to the 8th, and then G on the 9th fret. This is going to sound like this all together. And the final phase is going to sound like this. Final phrase is going to sound like this. There we go. So we've finished on the ninth on the G. Okay, and we're going to hold that note for a little bit. Then we're going to go seven, seven, nine on the G. Then we're going to go 8 on the B and then back to the 9 on the G. So go 7, 9 on the G, 8 on the B, back to 9 on the G. Then we're going to go uh, 8 twice on the B. Okay, so we've got from here. Then we're going to go 10, pull off 8 on the B, then 9 on the G. Then we go 8 on the high E, 10 pull off 8 on the B, and then 9 slide 7 on the G. So last little bit was 8 on the E, 10 pull off to 8 on the B, then we're going to go 9 slide 7 on the G, Okay, so all of that that we've done right now all together. Okay, and to finish off, we're going to go 5 7 on the uh, G. Okay, and then we're going to go G, 7th fret. Bend up to the ninth fret. So from here to here. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of vibrato up on that bend. Okay, so we've got. 
that and we're going to pull off to the fifth fret. Okay, so just that last bit again. We're then going to go 7 5 on the A. I mean on the D. And then we go 7, start up to 9. And then 5 twice on the G. So that last bit again, because it was a little bit sloppy. Bend up to 8. Pull off to 5. Then, then on the D, we're going to go 5, 3. And then back to the G on the 7th fret, bend up to 9. Then you're going to release the bend and we're going to play 5-5 five, five on the D. Okay, so from here. There is the whole solo. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go, going to go through all. Of And that's the whole solo. Thank you all so much for watching. If you need anything, let me know. Otherwise, see you later.